hashtag safer at restaurants. And boy, you better believe it. As we move into the safer at home phase, I'll tell you what, I feel safest at restaurants with my friends and very talented people, the community coming together. Here's two restaurant tours together right here. Eric Hyatt at Angelo's. And George doing? Eater from Pizza Republica. Hi, hey guys. Exchanging some ideas here. This is fantastic. We're at Angelo's Taverna on 6th Avenue. And what's this cross street? I should know it. Washington. Washington. And just showing the setup. Look at this, Jay. Hard at work <laughs> putting up these creative, unique ideas. Pimp my patio. We're going to be pimping out patios and showing ideas to people all over the place on how can we keep the drive alive, keep restaurants alive. Let's hand it over to you guys. Eric, first of all, just describe what we're seeing here. Well, we have uh, eight foot by 12 foot greenhouses, so they're 96 square feet. And uh, for Denver, it fits underneath their, um, their limit on size, which is 200, 120 square feet, I think it is. So we don't have to have special permitting and all these for, the, for these greenhouses. Um, they're individually heated. They're hot in the daytime, man. That sun cranks down on there and it gets nice and Nice and toasty during the day. We just had some guests leave that were enjoying lunch today on the, on these, uh, in the greenhouse in the patio. I was going to say Colorado, g generally pretty nice weather. I mean, oh, like yeah. sunshiny state, but yeah. we got a little taste. The bottom dropped sure off did, last man. week, <laughs> and it kind of just showed you, okay, here's, here's a little taste of what's going to happen. Hurry up, get yeah. ready. George Cold Eater, snow. you're here getting ideas because you're going to do I some I feel certain like things. I'm in training class right now. This is good <laughs> stuff. Because I'm going to start building some of these uh, next week. Yeah, it's uh, it was a big learning curve, but so, it was they're easy to put together. It just takes patience and time. So here it is, uh, restaurants everywhere trying to figure out what do I do, what kind of ideas, what works for people, what's not working. What was you, you guys as you're looking your your thought process of assembling things? What are the important things for you for your patio? Uh, for me, it was the guests' comfortable comfortability and uh, the ability also to sanitize and keep it clean. Um, so airflow was a big thing for us as well. So we put fans in the back that will blow the air from the back to the front and we put um, the vents. So when you build these, you can, they, you can decide where you want to have your vents. Oh, I need in a panel. I yeah, got the panel. So it don't have to go in this panel where we put them. You can put them in the back. You can put them in the front. We chose to put them in the front because the, having the fans will blow the air out and then up. That makes so a lot of sense. So that was the idea that we had behind that. So keep that in mind when you're doing your um, when you're building where you're going to put your your roof panels on them. Hashtag safer at restaurants. I'm a firm believer. You guys think of all the things for your guests. You <laughs> you nailed it. Comfort, comfort and optics. That's what's driving business right now. Well, that's what's bringing people into restaurants is how do you feel? Do you feel comfortable? Patio seating was a blessing for Colorado sure with weather that just was killer for months and months and months. Now we're facing, here we are, we're going into a dark, dark season of cold and literally dark. It's gonna be 4.30 and dark, you guys, right? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So <laughs> this weekend, as we fall back. Can, can we change that? I lobby to change it and not have a time change on November 1st. We're gonna jump around a little bit today at Angeles Taverna right here on 6th Avenue. Then we're gonna jump and uh, get some ideas from our friends at uh, Il Posto. And we're gonna see uh, Andrea Fritzi. And then we're gonna jump over and check out some other people downtown. So we're just getting some ideas of what people are doing. Cool. Do you mind if you Thanks show us your, your sanitation process of no, uh, actually how you turn these tables? Jay, come on over here, we're gonna show sanitation. All right, Jay Parker here with us today, oh, the yeah, Modern Eater Live. Hold on. Hashtag safer at restaurants. And, George, I'm a firm believer. You're a guy who does it right, too. You want to make sure your guests are feeling safe and taken uh, care of. Yeah, and this, you know, Nick's doing it like, this is awesome. This is exactly After the guests leave, we sanitize all the, all the high-touch surfaces or any surface that people touch. And that includes the chairs, the chair backs. Anything that they're touching, we wipe down, including our QR code table tents. We don't um, hand out menus to everybody anymore. If you want one, we have paper menus, but we use QR codes for our menu. You just use your iPhone camera fun function and it pulls it up. We've also been, um, whenever we're on a wait, we had to implement a two-hour dining policy when we're on a wait, which was one of the worst things ever had to do. But uh, so everything's sanitized down. 
Gonna get our disinfectant spray. Get that in the air. Make sure our panels are opened up here. So the fan will blow that anything out. I'll get out of the way. Wait, before you leave and get out of the way, you gotta push the button. <laughs> <laughs> My finger favorite button. is on the button. So yeah. you're in the you're in the greenhouse and you're thirsty, you're done with your beer. I need another beer. Or actually, I need another glass of carboy wine. Hit the button. You'll come out and you'll notice on the frame of the door lights up. Green light. That means here comes your glass of wine. Can't miss it. Servers can't miss it when these things pop open. All right, George Eater, yep. Pizza Republica. We're at Angelo's. Guys, this is how people come together in the community. Restaurant tours, they're talking yeah. about it. You guys that are owner operators, you're, you are hands on guys. What are you going to take from this experience here back to Pizza Republica and say, hey, you know what? I need to try that too? Little peace of mind because I just ordered the smaller versions of these yesterday and was going around town like I called you. I was like, all right, now what are we going to do with all this closing capacity? How do we make people comfortable, like Eric said? How do we keep our guests safe? And that's been our number one concern. How do I keep my guests safe and how do I keep my staff safe? And that, that's, the, that's the biggest thing. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to you know, become my own carpenter and figure out how to build these things. <laughs> <laughs> the instructions were actually nice and easy. There's, there's like these little quirks that you'll find out with these little screws. Yeah. I have nightmares about these things, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's a million of them. That's a, it's square. Yeah, so it slides in. Everything's got like these oh, little channels. Oh, into a channel, got it. Yeah, so you slide the screws in the top into the channel and they stick out, see? <laughs> this is community yeah, folks. Yeah, I was doing I'll it be over water, I'll be I'll fumbling the, you can laugh at me next week because I'll be fumbling yeah. them all over. <laughs> so you got to remember when you're, you know, you're, you, when you put this on to build the frame, if you don't remember to put those two on the bottom and then these four here before you put that, you have to take it all off and do it all over. Gotcha. So that's the kind of thing we, we figured out. But it was, it, was, um, it was a lot of fun. There was a really great team building exercise. Right. And we said, hey, we should get all the staff involved in this and uh, have them all work together to build these greenhouses because it yeah. really did take a lot of teamwork. Okay, Colorado, it's going to take teamwork. You, just like you said, teamwork. You see them working hard for you. Thanks, Modern Eater. You know, uh, working very, very hard to make sure that you're safe, safer at restaurants. Hashtag safer at restaurants. Jump on. I know you've been on board the whole time. Don't jump off the train now. They need you more than ever. Support local, support your restaurants. Colorado, you can do it. We're going to jump on down the road and check out some more ideas. Let's see, let's see what's popping out there. If you want us to stop by and you think you're doing something creative, let us know. Reach out to us. Slide on into our DMs. We'll be sure to get back to you. The Modern Eater for George Eater, for Eric Hyatt, and Jay Parker, myself, Greg Hollenbach. We're going to kick that rock on down the road, and we'll see you a little bit later today. The Modern Eater Show continues. Go see that.